here at Speckled Truth. Uh, enjoying our time down in Fort Mansfield. Got all the Speckled Truth crew uh, with us. And so uh, if you haven't necessarily heard of us, we're really about targeting big trout and conservation. And that's really kind of our MO is just really uh, trying to create this uh, experience between the angler and, an, and a species and hopefully uh, through that pursuit um, they gain a greater appreciation for the resource and so as a result they'll understand how precious precious of a resource it is and so if they experience a large fish hopefully they'll turn it loose but uh, we're out here with Cap Wayne Davis K Wigglers and had a hard norther blow through about two days ago got pretty cold and so what we're doing right now is we got a couple of folks fishing some deep me and wayne are fishing really shallow in the intent we saw a little bit of bait pulled up and what we're trying to do is target these little bitty drop zones and kind of like a, a primary ledge and then ultimately a secondary ledge so we're working skinny they're working deep we're throwing a little bit different techniques here uh, and just trying to target uh, at least a bigger fish uh, and we're just trying to figure out that zone uh, so we see bait kind of in both but again that's the, the good part about fishing a number of anglers is you can go ahead and fish each zone and try to figure out where those big fish are holding so awesome time down here love it down here this is the wade fishing heaven no doubt uh, and anytime you get down here it's just an amazing experience so uh, that's what we're doing today that's what we're about here at speckle truth and um, hopefully check us out and just again continue to take what you need release the rest and take care of a resource Captain Kyle Johnson here. We're down in Port Mansfield fishing with Captain Wayne Davis with Kay Wiggler. And this is our new color, the truth. It's a ball tail shad. It's gonna get a really nice reaction strike. So these fish that we've been fishing the past two days, they've really been hanging on the bottom. And I mean, just besides we know that because that's how we're catching them. But as you can see, these fish, they you can tell they've been rubbing their belly. There's there's no structure, there's no gravel here. It's just really a hard bottom, hard sand and maybe some grass, but you see all these little marks, they've been hanging out on the bottom. And that's when these ball tail shads work great. It's, it, it creates a reaction strike and I'm working it really slow. And like I said, they're, they're, they come up and they hit it real quick. And I mean, this thing, I had a, a split second to, to set the hook on this and get it. And if you look at this color that we chose, if you look in the light in a certain angle, you can see in the water, it's matching kind of that top color. These trout, especially the big ones, are really cannibalistic. They will, they, they love eating other trout, especially the females, they eat the males. And that was one of the reasons we chose that color as well, besides everything I mentioned earlier. But the bait is, he was, she was ready to go. The bait's doing great. We've caught a lot of good fish on it. Still looking for that monster and we're gonna get her today. Jalapeno popper that came out like dirty jalapeno 
and a little bitty white tip on the tail. Just I just caught a three pounder, and I got this. This is some nice trout. Fishing, I probably threw in the same pothole about 10, 15 times, and you know it just goes to show. You know they'll eat when they want to eat, or you agitate them. I think we're just agitating them right now because we're a couple days off the full moon. And we're not in the minor, we're not in the major. And a light, light hit. So they're just probably just trying to get rid of it. But a nice four pound fish on a reject lure. Go figure. Davis here and Captain Chris, got Erica and uh, Larry up front, We're, uh, we kicked off two of the other guys, so they, yeah. went, they went to go fish. We left them. We left them up, yeah. And, uh, but anyway, we're finishing out a two-day trip with Captain Chris, Bush, and the Speckle Truth, and uh, his whole team, really, it sounds like. And, uh, we worked hard for them, conditions were, weren't in our favor, but uh, I'll let Chris sum summarize. It was great. No, I mean, you said conditions were tough. And they, they were to some extent, but we were just summarizing kind of probably the totality of probably how many fish we caught and released, which is probably a conservative estimate. I'd say at least 250 fish yeah. uh, over the course of two days. So, I mean, really phenomenal in terms of catching a lot of redfish, a lot of smaller fish, smaller trout. Um, personally, I mean, today was a little bit of a tougher day. I tried a lot of different things to try to get bit, but Erica, behind and, and, and uh, Kyle who's also they just stuck to a pretty simple and, and very basic approach you know what the 337 rigged on a K wiggler I tried Texas eye Ned rig jerk baits soft Dean XLs etc everything no I did just to try to trigger something right something different I, I like doing that that's my style of fishing but you know as it turns out sometimes that's you know overthinking it is sometimes the worst thing and so Tight lines, God bless. Take what you need, release the rest. <laughs> <laughs>